What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Beast from the East series. This is the second installment where um, I'm playing Creation, uh, he has Parthia against obviously my Galatia. This is from the second group stage. Uh, and let's get into it and see the battle. So Parthia is pretty strong I would say overall. Um, options and can be annoying for, for Galato. Uh, if he can use them well, it will be quite difficult, but I think I have brought a pretty strong counter army. The, the mercenary force skirmishers I feel like are kind of racks, and if left alone, damage will be really nice, and they can also go after his archers and stuff. So, so, them yet. so, let's quickly go over my army, not the standard army that I usually bring, obviously, because Corinthia is not really a standard opponent. So I got three Galatian legionaries up in the center, that should be more than enough to deal with any infantry. Uh, that he has, and I also have two Galatian swords, uh, obviously trying to max out my melee infantry, but I went for a cheaper selection instead of four Galatian Legionaries, because I really don't need the Legionaries against the, against Parthia as much, and I feel like three is enough. Two Galatian swords in support, obviously, can slaughter Hillman and stuff, so they will be good for that capacity. Now my cavalry force, again, uh, just two Capitations and a Noble Horse. You could bring more cav, but I actually don't think that's the way to go against Parthia because their cav is going to be stronger anyway. The cataphracts will kill your Capadocians, so three cav is enough, but you have to keep them alive and use them very tactically. I also have three mercenary horse skirmishers and two Syrian archers. Uh, the Syrians are, I'm just going to use them to shoot up his cataphracts when they get close. And if he wants to waste ammo with his own archers on my Syrians, it won't really do that much, and hopefully it forces him to pay attention to the archers rather than the rest of my infantry. My general isn't a Galatian nobleman here. Uh, very safe, obviously, in this matchup for the gen, and you don't want him to die, because if he dies, you will be at risk, um, for routing your army very quickly, so, keeping in the, in the Galatian Nobleman, safe place for him. I've also got four Galatian Spears here, obviously the, probably the most important unit, uh, in terms of how well they're used, for how this battle will go, because cavalry counter tactics and javelins are going to be key, uh, for shooting up his, his cataphracts, so, that's that, and also just two other freemen, kind of bait units, they can't use their javelins, so they are fairly useless, but nothing else to really spend the money on, so lovely freemen it is. Now, vishan has gone for a very horse archer expensive army, a noble horse, and a uh, noble horse archer, sorry, and two armored horse archers, so his horse archers are going to be very difficult to deal with, and they'll be capable in melee as well, and they have high, you know, impact damage, so especially these noble horse archers, so they're going to be annoying, he's got four Parthian foot archers, so hmm, very deadly here and they can just shoot up some of my units. He probably wants to focus my cav. If he can focus my cav down, he'll be uh, in a good place. He's got a camel cataphract here, eastern cataphract, camel cataphract, camel cataphract. So three camel cataphracts and one eastern cataphract. Very annoying. Camel cataphracts especially. Here you can see him just pushing back his flank here and trying to run away from this flank. He's split into four like portions here. So I'm trying to go after this weak one. Oh, he has uh, also, I think, four Parthian swords. One... I don't know, maybe like three. Three Parthian swords, a couple of Eastern Spears, it's like three or four Eastern Spears, and a couple of Hillmen over here. Hillmen and Hillmen, so two Hillmen. So uh, the engagement is starting here. I saw a good chance to kill some of his Camel Capraxers, so like I can't even put it in. Rock with Eastern Spears. And now my Galatian Spears will come in here and, and throw their javelins. My mercenary horse skirmishers are in close support, but you can see the Camel Capraxers like, only lost two men in that. Now his Parthian swords are coming in here. And I have to fall back, but my Galatian legionaries are coming in to kill his Parthian swords, and his Parthian foot archers are nicely here, chewing up some of my horse skirmishers who cannot stand up to missiles very effectively. Over here, his Parthian foot archers are getting nice shots on my Galatian spears, so I can't really afford to lose, but for the moment, I don't really have another option. You can see they're doing great damage to my Galatian spears. His Parthian swords are forced to engage kind of poorly here. He couldn't get a cataphract charge in uh, before engaging, and they went into a weird shield ball, so they're going to lose pretty handily to my Galatian legionaries, but his Horse Archers will get nice shots, and meanwhile, he, I'm still losing tons of Galatian Spears, but he is using a lot of ammo. Here, I forgot about this guy, so he's gonna die. And my Galatian, uh, my Horse Skirmishers, sorry, are kinda out here on the flank, where they can't really do anything, because his Horse Archers screen my Galatian, uh, my Horse Skirmishers very well. So here's his Caprax went in for a charge, but I felt like I could just charge here, but if he was faster, he probably would just cycle a second charge in. Here, and now he sends the Eastern Spearman, but I don't know why he didn't just cycle a charge here. It would have killed this Capitation very fast. Over here, I am killing off some of his Parthian swords, which is very nice. And as you can see, my Syrians here are getting shots on his Camel Cataphract, killing quite a few. 
Here I can afford to just charge these instruments for even though it's right. And here, this is kind of a dumb charge for my competition. I'm trying to just finish off these hillmen a little faster, but uh, probably was unnecessary. Chasing after these parking foragers here, they are just falling back. Over here, I did like engage here without getting charged, so my Cappadocians will kill some of his Camel Cramax, but these Parthian Flourishers and Eastern Spearmen will win this. However, my uh, four Skirmishers are coming over here just to shoot up his Camel Cadet. Here, my uh, his helmet will just die on my Galatian Swords very easily. And my Noble Horse is chasing over here, but there are so many Horse Archers that my Noble Horse is going to be under a lot of fire. However, they will probably kill off his Camel Cataphrax, so that is quite nice. And these Syrians are a little bit exposed, but I don't have that much support anymore. Because all my Galatian Spears are kind of getting shot up. And you can see I only have one left because he just shot all the rest of my Galatian Spears with his Parthian Flourishers. So very well done there. Horse and Horse Skirmishers will get into his Parthian Flourishers here. Just to you know, delay them from shooting. But this is a kind of <coughs> messy engagement. I'm going to kill off his Camel Cataphract, but at a heavy cost with one Cappadocian. I don't have that much Cav to lose. Whereas Beatian, he can afford to lose a few Cavs. Almost missed my career, but I think yeah, I'll get out of time. I'll lose a few men, but no real big issue. My Galatian Nolmen are here though, pushing back his archers, and my Noble Horse and Galatian Spear are going to kill off this uh, Camel Cataphract. I need to keep this Noble Horse alive, it's got 30 men still, so I can go kill his archers, because his archers are alive and I'm definitely screwed. Here I did miss my crew. I only lost a few men, but yeah, that was pretty bad. Uh, about half of them actually end up dying. And these mercenary horse skirmishers need to just get out of there, and his Camel Cataphract is basically dead. And again, his Parthian swords are no match for my Galatian Legionaries, and my Cappadocians are still alive with 41, so I was managing to keep my Cav alive pretty well here. I have two of my three Cav units left, and meanwhile, he's only got one Camel Cataphract, so... Uh, and sorry, and this Eastern Cataphract. So I've done a pretty good job in, in killing these guys, but the question remains whether or not I'll have enough men to also kill these Noble Forge Archers and kill his Archers too, because he still has a lot of ammo. Meanwhile, my Cappadocians are finishing off most of his dudes though, I could probably get a second charge into his first charge, that would probably be the best move right now, because there's only 74 men left, and they would be able to kill a lot of his ammo here. But instead, he's going to get a lot of good free shots and pretty much kill off this Cappadocian. He'll charge his Noble Horse Archery smartly, and he's also retreating this Parthian Sword. Over here is like a. Uh, <coughs> sorry, there's a big draw. I'm just shooting up his Cataphracts though, and you know, finishing them off. There's a few left here that are going to charge in my Noble Horse, which is annoying, because he still has a full archer here, but they don't have that much ammo because they have been firing for the whole battle. Meanwhile, my horse skirmishers are here, but uh, very little ammo, and I need to kill off the rest of this eastern cataphract, which is going for my archer smartly. Um, and over here, these Cappadocians are going to die, but they're going to get a few kills probably on these horse archers, 3 and 51, so they got good kills, and obviously they killed a bunch of his archers, so hey, it's not too bad. Um, you know, obviously my cab was never going to survive the whole battle, it's just a matter of killing as many archers as, as possible. And here you can see my noble horse are doing just that with my help of my noblemen. They'll also kill off these Camel Cows, and here his Eastern Cows are also dead, but they did get a lot of kills. Um, most non chief units, but they all count, and he did did manage to route this archer. It may come back though. Nope, it's actually broken. So, I do have this other archer, 40 men, 29 kills, but 29 kills on Cataphracts are mostly good kills. This archer only had 5 kills. But the, the main point with the archer though is like, it's a distraction, that you have to go for it with your cab, and when you do, then my cab can come and kill your cab. Nice charge from his Noble Horse right here into this Galatian Legionnaire, who is losing the this part of his but my Noble Men should come in here and, and win this. My Noble Horse are nicely surviving here, but I realize I don't have enough time to kill both of his archers, so I'm just going to go for this one that's closer, although, and I'm going to send my Horse Skirmisher over here, but he is nicely defending it. Here I'm firing my Javelins, so pretty much the last of my Javelins, trying to get any extra kills I can. It looks like I killed two guys, so hey, that's pretty good. And you know, these horse skirmishers are pretty useless, but they can go and chase his, uh, his archers around. My noble horse did route, but did very well, 182 kills. Over here, he is finishing off this uh, Glacier Legionnaires, using the, the nice impact damage of these armored horse archers. They have a lot of kills and most of their men remaining to just kind of finish off my uh, weakened units. So basically, if we come down to the end here, I have a Glacier Spear. My noble general is very healthy, though. Uh, and then a bunch of depleted swords, so like... 57 men here, 46, 97, so pretty big Galatian sword there, and then some Galatian Legionnaires at 39, some Lovey 3 men at 53. So basically, the question is how much ammo do, do I have? And here this uh, this horse skirmisher is being screened off by his archers, but if he uses an entire volley or two to kill those archers, that's definitely worth it. I can't really stop him from killing my archers, so I just decided to like let him go, and then I'm going to try to kill his, archers, uh, his horse archers if I can, but... I mean, yeah, I'm getting a few kills. You can see my horse skirmisher is doing great damage with their last remaining javelins, and he also will kill his Galatian Spears 10 men, so that's not a big deal. 
finishing off his last Parthian sword, but now he only has 36 men, so I did succeed in killing a lot of his, um, his horse archers, and here I'm just gonna charge in my horse scrimmage, because they're pretty much useless, but I just wanna tie them down so my archers can get me more shots, and that's exactly what they're gonna do, and look, he's already losing some men, so this is a good choice, I think, because these horse scrimmages are pretty useless, otherwise I can't really get near his archers, and they'll probably just die anyway. So, now it's pretty much coming to the end game. He doesn't have any ammo left on his horse archers. Okay. Um, he has a little bit of ammo with his archers. Um, I have a little ammo here, but obviously these archers are just gonna run it. Uh, he's a charge, so. I'm trying to keep them alive, but his horse archers are closing in. He can. I don't know if it's worth it, but I, the plan for me is that if he wants to kill my archers, he's gonna have to go through my Galatian source and hopefully lose a lot of his horse archers doing so. And you can see he does end up going for this charge, and it's gonna kill off my archer, but there's really any ammo left, and there's only like 19 guys. But at the same time, it's gonna cost him a lot of his horse archers, because they're coming into this blob. And all he has left to kill me is these horse archers, basically. His archers don't have enough ammo to really do anything. Eastern spears are left on the field, but whatever. And so, he's gonna have to use 33 noble horse archers, and then 27 plus 36 armored horse archers to kill the rest of my units. Now, these guys are definitely low in HP, most of them, but my general is not. And he, I used counter cavalry tactics here because I saw an opportunity to kill a lot of his noble workers. You can see they are dropping very fast, they're less than half strength, and that is quite good for me. However, my Galatian swords are very tired, so they're probably not going to last against a charge. And my level 3 men have obviously low morale, so it's pretty much down to my Galatian legionaries and my general. And then to use my weakened units as bait, although this unit is pretty healthy, so it'll probably survive. He goes for a charge on my Freeman, but again, I still like counter cavalry tactics there for a second. So I was able to kill a few more horse archers, and he's losing horse archers very fast. They must not have too much HP. Using also the last of his, uh, his ammo here, but it's not really affecting the battle that much. Because these horse archers have good kills, very good kills on this guy, but they're not the most impactful kills because he didn't really shoot up my cavalry and he didn't really shoot up my elite infantry. He killed a lot of my Galatian spears, which is good kills and definitely worthwhile for his archers to shoot at. But he didn't get a chance to use like more ideal shots. So now I'm just kind of like boxing up here, waiting for the final engagement. The main thing to question for Venetian is, can he kill my Galatian nobleman in general? Um, but the thing is, I have to commit him in one direction, and that means in another direction, his Galatian legionaries, or his uh, noble war striker, sorry, will get charges into my legionaries and my Galatian swords. So he is using this, well, he's killing off Galatian swords here, killing off more Galatian swords here, but his eastern spearmen just can't last. And now his archers are also on ammo, so... 112 Galatian noblemen at pretty much full strength. I should have second winded them instead of second winding this Galatian legionary, but he was gonna get charged on one to live. Meanwhile, I know these Galatian noblemen will live. Um, they're mostly full HP wars, whereas his horse archers are not very high HP anymore. They've been charging a lot and losing HP. So I know my Galatian noblemen are gonna be really hard to kill, and basically I can just bait all my other units to let my noblemen live. And that's pretty much the plan. He's gotta go in for some desperation charges. But if he can route my other units without losing too many men, he can then kind of just cycle my noblemen. And it would be a no it would be hard. He's a nice charge on his Galatians, so he's gonna route them. He should just maybe pull back here. But he's going for a full commit to kill off everything but my noblemen here. And my Galatian legionaries just have such great morale. They do not route for anything. His archers did make it out, and he's just baiting his uh, good archers. And he killed off all my Galatian swords. But the problem is 37 and. 22 Galatian Legionnaires, probably too much for him to kill alongside my nobleman because his Galatian Legionnaires just won't route. He goes in for a desperation charge here with the general, but he only has like 10 men left. And his horse archers are coming in to the flank here. But I have covered counter attacks again, and he is going to route, so I will manage to pick up the battle, but what a close battle it was, and really could have gone either way in a lot of situations. Uh, but I managed to win by the skin of my teeth, so it was really a really a great battle. If you look at the kills. You can see Galatian Legionnaires did quite well, considering like they're not an anti-cavalry unit, like they did good, 284 kills, 132 kills, but they were facing against much inferior infantry. Galatian Spears didn't really do anything, but he did focus them with his archers, so really not expecting much from them. But yeah, uh, Lil Levy Freeman did absolutely nothing, got charged, but Lil Levy Freeman did fine. And these uh, Galatian swords ended up being a really good pick. They uh, held their weight and killed a lot of his cheap infantry, um, which meant that my Galatian legionaries were not tied down doing that task, so they could do um, more important, more important jobs. Syrian archers didn't really do that much, um, but again, they're kind of just a target that uh, Venetian had to like tackle at some point. And when he charges Cavin, I could like blob his cab up there, and um, you know, 34 kills mostly against high value targets is not uh, 
anything to be ashamed of for the series. They did pretty well. One Cappadocian didn't really do anything. Got tied down in that uh, bad engagement against a Camel Cataphract and a um, Eastern Spear, so it kind of died. But it did allow me to kill a Camel Cataphract. But again, one for one trade with my cat wasn't really worth it. So that was a, a misuse for sure. Uh, but my normal horse in Cappadocian gone to his archers, so that was um, really helping me out. Because if he had more ammo there, you know, he could easily just shoot up my general, shoot up my Galatian legionaries, and then charge in with his with his guys and, and face a much better endgame. Uh, my horse skirmishers didn't look like they did that well, but if you think about it, this is essentially killing an entire cataphract unit. So, and they they cost 900 and mm, okay, they cost like almost 1,200, I guess. So if they kill a little more than the cataphract, it's pretty much worth it. Um, so they they, they did their job, got into some archers. Could have been used a little better. I did miss micro them a few times, but uh, overall not so bad. And I'm glad I took them. I think they were a good choice. And then my general was basically untouched for the entire battle, so he just got a lot of nice kills on Cav, doing his job and staying alive, which is a uh, key to keeping your morale up uh, as Galatia. So they did well on the Asian side. Horse archers did really well. Some of his cataphracts that got into my infantry did well, but you can see I was able to tie down some of his guys and make sure they didn't do anything. Uh, archers did pretty well again, sniping my Galatian spears. So that's a, I mean that's a pretty valuable pick I think, and is cost effective. Um, and he also got some shots into my cab and killed some off, but he couldn't really find any better shots, unfortunately, for his uh, Parthian Fillers, because they really want to be shooting your cab. I think that's the, the main idea. Uh, his infantry did really poorly, but, I mean, they were never there to do well. They are just going to give him time for his uh, cabs to do well. So, good game. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you next time.